This is Mauritius, a beautiful island country located some 2,000 kilometers off the southeastern coast of Africa. Though this country is one of the smallest in Africa both in size and population, it clearly stands out as the best, if not the best country in Africa. As of 2023, the country has a population of about 1.3 million people spread on 2,040 kilometers square of land. With a nominal GDP of $14.5 billion and a nominal GDP per capita of $11,545, Mauritius is the richest country in Africa. If we go by GDP per capita, over the years, the country has worked hard, moving from this small country that was abandoned in the Indian Ocean to one of the hotspots in Africa for tourists. Mauritius currently topped the chats when it comes to several aspects in Africa. As we earlier mentioned, Mauritius has the highest GDP per capita. It is the most peaceful country in Africa according to the Global Peace Index. It is the best country in Africa to do business in. Mauritius has the best beaches in the world. It has the second most powerful passport in Africa. Its educational and healthcare systems are amongst the best on the continent, and the country is politically very stable. Over the past 10 years, 2007 to 2017, total wealth held in Mauritius has risen by 195% in US dollar terms, making it the fastest growing wealth market in Africa and one of the top three fastest growing worldwide over this period. All these aspects comes together to make Mauritius the best country in Africa to relocate to and start a new life. The truth is, Mauritius hasn't always been this ideal country it is today. So in this video, we shall take you on the journey on how the country became successful, at least by African standards. But first, take a few seconds and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Brief History of Mauritius Mauritius has a complex and diverse history. At some point it was occupied by different European powers. The island was originally uninhabited and was first visited by Arab sailors in the 10th century. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to visit the island in the early 16th century, but they did not establish a permanent settlement. In 1598, the Dutch claimed Mauritius and named it after their ruler, Prince Maurice of Nassau. The Dutch established a settlement and introduced sugarcane cultivation, but they abandoned the island in 1710. The French claimed Mauritius in 1715 and established a colony. They developed the island's agricultural industry, including sugarcane and coffee, and brought slaves from mainland Africa and Madagascar to work on the plantations. In 1810, the British captured Mauritius from the French during the Napoleonic Wars. The British abolished slavery on the island in 1835 and introduced Indian indentured laborers to work in the sugarcane fields. Mauritius gained independence from Britain in 1968 and became a republic in 1992. Since independence, the country has undergone significant economic development and has diversified its economy beyond agriculture into manufacturing, financial services, and tourism. The truth is, Mauritius has not always been a rich country. In fact, the country was one of the poorest in the world when it gained independence from Britain in 1968. At that time, the economy was primarily based on agriculture, with sugarcane being the main crop. The country faced many challenges, including high unemployment, poverty, and limited resources. However, since independence, Mauritius has undergone significant economic development and has made remarkable progress in reducing poverty and improving living standards. The government implemented policies to diversify the economy beyond agriculture, and today, the country has a more diverse economy with a focus on manufacturing, financial services, and tourism. Mauritius has also been successful in attracting foreign investment and has established itself as a regional hub for business and finance. The country has a favorable tax regime, a skilled workforce, and a stable political environment, which has helped to attract foreign investors. Today, Mauritius is considered to be a middle-income country, with a relatively high standard of living compared to many other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. However, like many other countries, it still faces challenges such as income inequality and youth unemployment. But how did this small island with very little natural resources manage to change its situation in such a short time? How Mauritius Got Rich Mauritius achieved economic growth and development through a combination of factors, including government policies, investment in education and infrastructure, and a favorable business environment. One of the key factors that contributed to Mauritius' economic success 
was the government's focus on diversifying the economy beyond agriculture. The country knowing that it didn't have minerals like gold, diamonds, and copper like most African countries decided to build on its service sector. In the 1980s, the government implemented policies to encourage the development of manufacturing and tourism industries. The government also established export processing zones, which attracted foreign investment and helped to create jobs. Development of the financial sector The financial sector is an important part of Mauritius' economy, contributing significantly to the country's economic growth and development. Mauritius has developed their reputation as a reliable and well-regulated offshore financial center in recent years, attracting foreign investors and businesses to the country. The financial sector in Mauritius is regulated by the Financial Services Commission FSC, which oversees the banking, insurance, and securities industries. The FSC is responsible for ensuring the stability and soundness of the financial sector and for regulating and supervising financial institutions to ensure compliance with international standards. Mauritius has a favorable tax regime for the financial sector, with a low corporate tax rate of 15%, no withholding tax on dividends, and no capital gains tax. The country also has a network of double taxation avoidance agreements with several countries, which help to promote cross-border investment and trade. Mauritius has developed a range of financial products and services, including banking, insurance, asset management, and capital markets. The country is particularly well known for its expertise in fund administration and has established itself as a leading offshore fund jurisdiction. Mauritius fund industry is regulated by the FSC and has attracted investment from all over the world. Development of Tourism Industry Tourism has been a major driver of economic growth and development in Mauritius, contributing significantly to the country's wealth and prosperity. The tourism industry in Mauritius developed rapidly in the 1980s when the government implemented policies to encourage the development of the sector. The government invested in infrastructure, including airports, roads, and hotels, and established marketing campaigns to promote tourism to the country. Mauritius has a range of attractions that have made it a popular tourist destination, including its beautiful beaches, clear blue waters, coral reefs, and tropical climate. The country also has a rich cultural heritage and a diverse population, which has made it an attractive destination for cultural tourism. The tourism industry has been successful in attracting foreign investment and creating jobs in the country. The industry also generates foreign exchange earnings, which have helped to boost the country's foreign reserves and reduce its reliance on external aid. In recent years, Mauritius has focused on developing high-end tourism, targeting affluent travelers who are willing to spend more on luxury accommodations and experiences. The country has developed a range of luxury resorts and spas and has established itself as a top destination for weddings, honeymoons, and other special occasions. Development of the transport system Transportation has played an important role in the economic development of Mauritius, facilitating trade and commerce and connecting the country to the global economy. Mauritius has invested heavily in transportation infrastructure, including roads, ports, and airports, which has improved connectivity and facilitated trade. The country has a well-developed road network, with modern highways and roads connecting the major towns and cities on the island. The government has also invested in modernizing the country's ports, which has helped to boost trade and attract foreign investment. Mauritius has two international airports, Sir Siwusagur Rangulam International Airport and Sir Gaetan Duval Airport, which have direct flights to many major cities around the world. The airports have helped to facilitate tourism and business travel and have made it easier for foreign investors and businesses to access the country. The country also has a well-developed shipping industry with modern container terminals and facilities. The port of Port Louis is the main gateway for imports and exports and handles a significant amount of cargo each year. Mauritius also invested heavily in education and training, which helped to develop a skilled workforce. The country has a high literacy rate and a well-educated population, which has been an asset in attracting foreign investment. The government also invested in infrastructure, including roads, ports, and airports, which improved connectivity and facilitated trade. This, in turn, helped to attract foreign investors and boost economic growth. Mauritius also has a favorable business environment with a simple and transparent regulatory framework, a low tax rate, and a stable political environment. This has helped to attract foreign investors and businesses to the country. The country's major exports include textiles and apparel sugarcane and sugar products, seafood, fresh fruits, and vegetables, jewelry.
In addition to these factors, Mauritius has also benefited from its geographic location, which has made it an attractive hub for trade and investment in the Indian Ocean region. These are the reasons why Mauritius is the best and why you should relocate to Mauritius. Strong economic growth, a thriving and growing financial sector, well-developed banking system and stock exchanges, strong FDI inflows, ease of doing business in the country, second most powerful passport with access to 150 countries visa-free, most peaceful country in Africa, free and developed media, good education and healthcare systems, stunning landscapes, strong democracy, automatic permanent residency if you buy a property worth $500,000 or more, low rate of unemployment, no overcrowding, and much more. According to the 2021 edition of the World Ultra Wealth Report by WealthX, there were an estimated 570 ultra-high net worth individuals in Mauritius as of 2020. These individuals are defined as those with a net worth of $30 million or more. The report also estimated that there were approximately 2,430 millionaires in Mauritius as of 2020. Millionaires are defined as those with a net worth of $1 million or more, excluding their primary residence. In conclusion, Mauritius is a thriving island nation with a stable political environment, favorable tax regime, and high quality of life. Its strategic location well-developed infrastructure, and diverse population have made it an attractive destination for investors, entrepreneurs, and tourists. The country's success is a testament to its commitment to good governance and economic development.